Hey everyone, today we'll be going over leak code 1614, maximum nesting depth of the parentheses. And there is so much stuff here, so I just wanna rephrase the problem uh, very simply by taking the test case and explaining what they're asking. So you can always read this, the link's in the description, but I'm just gonna explain it my own way. So given some string with parentheses and tokens of various sorts, uh, we want to return how deep the max depth that the parentheses get. So basically uh, using this logic here, so a new parenthesis opened up, the depth is now one, another one, so we'll mark it as one, then another one opened up here, the depth is now two, because we're now two parentheses deep, and then here it closed, so the depth actually decreased, and it's now at one, here it opened up, it's now at two, here it opened up again, it's now at three, here it closed, it's now at two, here it closed, it's now at one, it closed again, it's back at zero, and you can see this is the case because if we delete this parentheses block, you can see very clearly the depth is zero. So that's kind of the logic that we're going for. So if we look at all of our times that the depth changed, which was the max depth? And we'll see it's actually this three right here. So, and if you look at the test case, uh, the output is three. So using this same exact logic, we don't have to overcomplicate this problem. Uh, we can actually just do that. So we can keep a running depth and a max depth and then return the max depth. So the max depth is going to be our result that we want to return. So let's go ahead and return that. And then we also want to keep a running depth. So we'll call that depth. So this is the current depth. So then let's go through each character in S and let's check, uh, did the depth increase? So if the depth increased, that means we opened up a new parentheses. And if it did, that's good let's actually increase the depth and then take the max of the current depth with the current max depth. So how we can do that is we can just go math.max, uh, the current max, and then also the current depth. And then let's actually increment that too. So uh, this is equivalent to just saying this right here, uh, but we want to account for this depth. So let's just go ahead and write it like that. So then, otherwise, we want to see, did it close? So did the depth decrease? Well, this is very simple, let's just decrease it. And we don't have to set the max again because it de decreased, so it can't be bigger than the max. So this is very straightforward. Uh, a lot of people like to overcomplicate this problem and leak code definitely likes to overcomplicate the description. So let's run this and see what happens. And this is not a capital S. So let's run this and see what happens. And there we go, we get three, let's submit it. And there we go, we get 100%. So yeah, I just wanted to walk through this uh, very easy solution. I didn't wanna make it complicated and I hope it was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.